Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy hath begotten us again unto a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. O God, our Father, we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved thee with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. Have mercy upon us, we beseech thee. Cleanse us from our sins and help us to overcome our faults. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. God standeth in the congregation of princes. He is a judge among gods. How long will ye give wrong judgment and accept the persons of the ungodly? Defend the poor and fatherless. See that such as are in need and necessity have right. Deliver the outcast and poor. Save them from the hand of the ungodly. They will not be learned nor understand, but walk on still in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, Yea, our gods, and yea, are all the children of the Most Highest. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, and judge thou the earth, for thou shalt take all heathen to thine inheritance. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hold not thy tongue, O God, keep not still silence, refrain not thyself, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a murmuring, and they that hate thee have lift up their head. They have imagined craftily against thy people, and taken counsel against thy secret ones. They have said, Come, and let us root them out, that they be no more a people, and that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have cast their heads together with one consent, and are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of the Edomites and the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, the Hagarenes, Gebel and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with them that dwell at Tyre. Asa also is joined with them, and have holpen the children of Lot. But do thou to them as unto the Madianites, unto Sisera, and unto Jabin at the brook of Kison, who perished at Endor, and became as the dung of the earth. Make them and their princes like Oreb and Zeb, yea, make all their princes like a Zeba and Salmana who say, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like unto a wheel, and as the stubble before the wind, like as the fire that burneth up the wood, and as the flame that consumeth the mountains. Persecute them even so with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Make their faces ashamed, O Lord, that they may seek thy name. Let them be confounded and vexed ever more and more. Let them be put to shame and perish, and they shall know that thou, whose name is Jehovah, art only the most highest over all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, how amiable are thy dwellings, thou Lord of hosts! My soul hath a desire and longing to enter into the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found her an house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. Even thy altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will be always praising thee. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are thy ways. Who going through the veil of misery, use it for a well, and the pools are filled with water. They will go from strength to strength, and unto the God of gods appeareth every one of them in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer, hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our defender, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For one day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of ungodliness. For the Lord God is a light and defence. The Lord will give grace and worship, and no good thing shall he withhold from them that live a godly life. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that putteth his trust in thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, thou art become gracious unto thy land. Thou hast turned away the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the offence of thy people, and covered all their sins. Thou hast taken away all thy displeasure, and turned thyself from thy wrathful indignation. Turn us then, O God, our Saviour, and let thine anger cease from us. Wilt thou be displeased at us for ever, and wilt thou stretch out thy wrath from one generation to another? Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hearken what the Lord God will say concerning me, for he shall speak peace unto his people and to his saints, that they turn not again. For his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall flourish out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall show loving kindness, and our land shall give her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and he shall direct his going in the way. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The lesson is taken from the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, beginning at the second verse. I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh, saying, Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled. For my head is filled with dew, and my locks with the drops of the night. I have put off my coat, how shall I put it on? I have washed my feet, how shall I defile them? My beloved put in his hand by the hole of the door, and my bowels were moved for him. I rose up to open to my beloved, and my hands dropped with myrrh, and my fingers with sweet-smelling myrrh upon the handles of the lock. I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn himself and was gone. My soul failed. When he spake, I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. The watchmen that went about the city found me. They smote me, they wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if ye find my beloved, that ye tell him that I am sick of love. What is thy beloved more than another beloved? O oh, thou fairest among women! What is thy beloved more than another beloved that thou dost so charge us? My beloved is white and ruddy, the chiefest among ten thousand. His head is as the most fine gold, his locks are bushy and black as a raven. His eyes are as the eyes of doves, by the rivers of waters, washed with milk and fitly set. His cheeks are a bed of spices, as sweet flowers, his lips like lilies, dropping sweet-smelling sweet myrrh. His hands are as gold rings, set with the beryl. His belly is as bright ivory, overlaid with sapphires. 
His legs are as pillars of marble, set upon sockets of fine gold. His countenance is as Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet, yea, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, daughters of Jerusalem. Whither, whither is thy beloved gone, O thou fairest among women? Whither is thy beloved turned aside, that we may seek him with thee? My beloved has gone down into his garden, to the beds of spices, to feed in the gardens, and to gather lilies. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. He feedeth among the lilies. Here ends the lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The lesson is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, beginning at the 11th verse. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, that a great prophet is risen among us, and that God hath visited his people. And this rumour of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. Here ends the lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, 
and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee, that as by thy special grace preventing us, thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who for our redemption didst give thine only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection hast delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily unto sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty Lord God, hear our prayers this night, and our thanksgivings at the end of the day. We pray with our diocese today, giving thanks for the Archdeaconry of Selwyn to Wera. And within the Archdeaconry, we pray especially for the parishes of Avonhead and Northwest Christchurch. Almighty God, bless the people of these parishes. Bless the ministry within them. May they grow ever more and more in their faith of you. And may they show it in the lives they live and in their outreach to their communities. We give thanks and pray too for all workplace chaplaincy services and especially for any chaplaincy services that are still operating at this time, offering their chaplaincy via the telephone and internet and through other ways and means. Bless them in all they do to support workers. We pray for our parish of Timaru and the people of St Mary's. We ask your blessing upon them. Draw us closer together, O Lord, and let us not lose sight of one another as we continue through this time of lockdown. Give thanks for all the gifts you have given us this day. And we ask that you hear the prayers of our hearts as in silence we offer to you all that is on our minds. And we pray for all those who have asked for our prayers, and those we know in any need or want at this time. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.